Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a speed comparison between Samsung S9 Plus and uh, the new uh, Vivo Nex S. This is the ultimate version with uh, 6 8GB of RAM and uh, 256GB of storage. The S9 Plus has a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED screen, 6GB of RAM, 256GB of storage and a battery capacity of 3500 mAh. Uh, and the uh, Vivo Nex um, S Ultimate uh, has a 6.6 inch Super AMOLED screen, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage and a 4000mAh battery. So both phones have uh, very good specifications and are both in uh, the top flagship territory. The Vivo Nex S uh, has uh, glass back and front and uh, the back is, uh, has a nice uh, color pattern and um, yeah, it's uh, visible on video but not so much in real life. The on-screen fingerprint reader on the Vivo Nex is very very good uh, but you have to have a pretty clean screen uh, if it's uh, very smudgy it won't work as good. So time for comparison starting up on the benchmark. Since both of these phones, both devices have uh, very nice uh, screens. They are uh, Super AMOLED and uh, the uh, Samsung S9 Plus has uh, of course a higher resolution. But uh, in this test uh, I will use the same uh, Full HD uh, resolution. So the Vivo Nex uh, finished first and you can see the scores. 198,175 compared to uh, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus to 161,129. So uh, the, the Vivo Nex uh, is a lot better. The difference is quite big. So let's check out the information here. You can see on screen. Uh, they're both running uh, uh, full HD uh, resolution and uh, both have the same GPU and CPU of course. And here you can see the memory, the 6GB storage uh, RAM on uh, the Samsung S9 Plus and 256 uh, GB of internal storage and micro SD card that's uh, optional. <coughs> you can see the clock speeds. Uh, they look like the S9 Plus has uh, higher, the low, lower end clock speed, but uh, the high end clock speed is the same. Uh, that's uh, I don't understand this. I checked the uh, results several times uh, because I couldn't believe my eyes because the Vivo Nex was uh, so much, so much, had so much higher scores. So it's uh, quite strange. And here on the Vivo Nex, you can also see the battery capacity is uh, three thousand nine hundred milliamp uh, milliampere battery. Um, the Vivo claim 4000 milliampere hour battery. Yeah, that's what's uh, this test. So uh, let's move on with the next uh, one. It's uh, Geekbench 4. I will uh, fast forward this one also, so you can get the results faster. You may think that uh, uh, Vivo Nex is, uh, should be hard to handle, but uh, 
user interface with uh, quick toggles. Uh, you can uh, activate them from swiping from the bottom on the phone. Uh, makes it quite easy to, to use this phone one-handed. But uh, of course, both um, are not one-handed friendly phones. So the single score uh, is almost equal, but uh, on the multi-core, the Vivo Nex uh, wins with uh, around 600 uh, points. So the next test uh, will be uh, applications. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are five games and uh, five other applications. And uh, I will start them all and uh, after that restart them and see if they still are in active memory. So uh, yeah, interesting. So let's start. The first one is, uh, yeah, let's clear the memory of, of course first. So these applications first and uh, then the games after that one. So let's start with BBC. That one goes to the Vivo Nex. And uh, this is a Swedish newspaper also to the Vivo Nex. And YouTube also to Vivo Nex. And, uh, BBC's media player goes to, to the S9 Plus and the Google Chrome is faster on the Vivo Nex. So out of five, four to Vivo Nex and one to the S9 Plus. And Assassin's Creed uh, Pirates, quite demanding game. And um, both are more or less uh, the same level here and uh, pushing play and entering the game you can see it was uh, the S9 plus that was maybe half a second faster and this is farm hero and that one also goes to the Vivo Nex and uh, the room all sins Because I've created a, a user here, so I have to push uh, one step more for uh, the Vivo Nex before starting the game. So let's start. So let's start up exactly in the same uh, time. So yeah, that was the draw, um, equally fast. And this is Limbo, it's a game in black and white, quite fun to play. see uh, I have to push one more time to start the game and you can see a little fellow that is rising up waking up there and uh, yeah there were both uh, phones that were equally fast and uh, lastly asphalt Started up more or less uh, at the same time. Should need some values here. Yes, uh, yeah. 
doesn't seem to work. Uh, it's just uh, it's not, nothing happens. So yeah, that was uh, all the games. So let's see if they are still in memory. Starting with uh, BBC News. Yeah, the, the Note, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus was a little faster opening it up. And this one also, but uh, both are kept in memory. Yeah, this one also to the S9 Plus. So, so far all four has started up faster on the S9 Plus. And uh, Google Chrome also. So, all application goes to the S9 Plus. So it's a little delay on the Vivo Nex on all these applications. I find it a little uh, strange. This one has uh, gone back to the menu. I don't really know why. And uh, Limbo, still in memory. See, it's uh, going up, and uh, asphalt. Sorry about that one. Uh, um, you can't see if it's in storage or not. So that was all for the application startup test, and uh, on in one hand. Uh, it was the Vivo X starting the applications faster and uh, restarting them goes to the S9 Plus. So that was all for this time. Uh, I will provide an, another video with a camera comparison between the Vivo X and the Samsung S9 Plus. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't leave them in the comments field below. Um, and I would appreciate if you could subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.